Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. And I am back with another shed project. So today, I am finally getting my workbench. Which means we can start using the shed. We have put ship left up, we have painted. Today, the workbench is going in. We've got pig words to go up next week. And then the goal is, while the shed will not be finished, it will be usable. Usable is better than nothing, and it will just be an evolving process to get it to the point where I would like it to be on my mood board with all the finished pieces. So, my brother and my mom's friend Jim are bringing the workbench over as we speak. Apparently, it's really heavy. My dad got it for me for Christmas, and he had it shipped to my mom's house so that I wouldn't see it, which was very, very thoughtful but now I needed help to get it from her house here. So Will and Jim are bringing the workbench. We're gonna bring it inside. Depending on how hard it is to put together, we might have to do that tomorrow. The next day we'll see, cause it is already about four o'clock in the afternoon. I'm not sure that the actual putting together will happen right away, but we're gonna bring it in. We're gonna look at the box and uh, we'll get this thing put together in this video. You just may see me over the course of a couple days working on it. Either way, I'm very excited. My dogs are all in the backyard staring at me, except for Biddy, who of course is out here with me. So they think I'm nuts. Probably am. Come on, Biddy, they're here. All right, the bench has arrived. Biddy is officially supervising. Biddy, move. Move, Biddy. She's a bad supervisor. Ooh, it's very heavy. There we go. Dun dun dun. dun. All right, y'all. So we saw yesterday that mom and I finally uh, tore this baby out of the box. We wanted to make sure that we didn't have to lift the top until we had to, and that it could stay on the nice cushy foam while I was putting it together. So I didn't want to take it out and sit on the floor until we get the floor done. <laughs> so we read the instructions. I will put a bit of that up on the screen, but it's very simple. They send you with these hex bolts and with screws for the back plate. Now the hex bolts need to go on with a socket wrench. So I had to go to the store yesterday, which is why this is now a three, four, five part day video. <laughs> we actually had the right size actual socket wrench portion to fit our screw, but the handle that we had uh, was too big. Now, I'm not quite sure why, because these are my mom's for all my tools that I have. I didn't have a socket wrench until now, bought one yesterday. Uh, so that is what it is. It's always a good tool to have when it comes to this kind of construction. So glad to add it to my arsenal. And while you could start to work on this with a regular wrench, the drills, the drills, the holes that they pre-drilled for you are fairly tight. These are big bolts. You're gonna need a lot of elbow grease to do that whereas a ratcheting socket wrench like this one makes it fairly easy. So the instructions will tell you that you need to put your legs upside down on your tabletop and line them up with the four holes on either side. The four on each side lag bolts that come with it will fit down in those holes and you'll use your socket wrench to attach them. Now the instructions stress a bunch at this point that putting these in at weird angles, like I said, the holes that are pre-drilled are not quite the right size 
for these that so as these go in they can grip the wood and not the hole and it's a tighter fit it's better construction it's a solider piece once it's built but it means that these can want to go in at an angle so the directions say to loosely fit everything both legs and the back plate and then once everything is together in the right formation then to come through and tighten them you'll also notice with the uh, screws that they give you that they do give you extra of these lag bolts and that's because this workbench comes in a four foot table which is what i have a six foot table and an eight foot table so the the screw packaging that they give you is enough for any of those three um options Hopefully, eventually, I will get either the eight foot bench or two more of the four foot. I'd like a workbench for the middle of my work shed and two for under my pegboards. But for now, I think you can switch out these little uh, levelers for wheels. So I'm gonna add some wheels to the bottom of this baby so that I can just move it around wherever I need it. But let's go ahead and get started um, adding the back plate so that we can then tighten this all up turn it over, start using it. I'm very excited. This is the same workbench um, that my dad has multiples of. Like I said, he bought me this for Christmas. He bought it for me because he really likes it. He thinks it's really great. Um, and I'm a daddy's girl when it comes to tools. You know, I learned everything I know about woodworking, fixing things, power tools from him. Um, so if it's good enough for dad, it's great for me. I am very happy with it. So. We're gonna get started with all the tightening. It's gonna take a minute. And then my brother's coming to help me finish the last couple uh, bits of the pegboard. So I'm hoping I can have this done by the time he gets here so he can help me flip it over. Cause it is, it's heavy duty and it feels like it. It'll be much easier without it. It says two person carry right on the box. <laughs> Before I get started, I just wanted to point out these two holes on either side of the back legs. So, when mom and I were setting these legs in place, we couldn't tell if there was an official back or front um, so we actually put them on backwards with this side over there where the little apron is. But this back plate here needs to be able to go fit into those holes. And then you can see there are holes here to screw directly into the table and attach this whole back plate. So when you're putting the legs on, that is the only thing you need to be conscious of is that these two holes here are the back of the table and they need to line up with these two holes here, which are the back of the legs and the back plate will go on all of these. So before we can tighten everything, we need to get our little screws out and attach the back plate.
They only give you five of these, so one extra as opposed to the extra lag bolts because the back plate will go on the same number of screws, four on each side. Whereas if you have the eight foot table, you need more of those lag bolts for the legs. We will tighten those with the little hex bolt thing that they always give you once we have all the other pieces done. But for now, we need to open this last bit. We need two more of these. That will leave us with four extra to secure the other side of the back plate. Don't lose this. All right, y'all, the workbench is done. After putting it together and my brother came over to help me stand it up because it is rather heavy, um, I just went in the house, completely forgot to finish the end of this video. So it's a couple weeks later, I've actually used the workbench a couple times. I can tell you, I love it. So far, I've only used it for resin projects, so I am excited to actually get some some tools on here to do some woodworking projects but first things first i do really like it and it is the perfect height for um standing at i have found that when i'm filming which is a very unique problem it is very tall which is great for standing but it means i've had to get a little stool out here to get up on and check my camera when I'm filming face down on it because the camera is too tall. Um, so I could lower it for that reason, but eventually, like I said, I want to get two more of these to go fully across this wall and then have one floating in the middle. Now, this is of course just the workbench model, which means it's just the surface top and freestanding legs. They have lots of other versions with uh, cabinets and drawers and plenty of different configurations underneath. So I'm almost thinking float this one in the middle of the shed for my work surface and get two with um, maybe cabinets on one side and drawers on the other because I do need more storage out here. I love you guys. The, the video for the pegboards is coming and it is much longer than this one because putting them up took a while and then hanging all the accessories took a while, but right now these little shelves on my pegboard are the only shelves in this entire shed. I am going to build a whole, whole wall of shelves behind y'all that will help. But for now, this is it. And this is it for surfaces in the shed. So I think getting at least one of my three workbenches with cabinets or drawers or a combination of the two underneath would be very helpful for some closed uh, storage. Either way, I'm really, I'm really impressed with this so far. I knew I would be because I've literally seen these, used these at my dad's house. He's used his for years. So it's a review of something I already knew I liked. <laughs> and of course, this was not a sponsored video. It was not a sponsored by me video either. Like I said, my dad bought me this for Christmas. Thanks dad but I will probably be buying the next two myself. So 
I like them enough to pay for them. Either way, I think this was a very quick and easy video. Luckily, I thought it was gonna be much harder. This thing went together super fast once I had my, my ratchet here. I cannot, I mean, it's a socket wrench. So I went in the store and of course I had, I had the full set of ends and I went in and I asked the guy for a socket wrench and he was like, that's a socket wrench. Oh, you mean a ratchet? I'm like, this is a socket wrench. Like I'm not making that up. But here in the South, apparently there's also a ratchet, which it does ratchet. That is the description of what it does. So he's not wrong. It's just, I don't know. What do you call it where you are? Leave a comment down below because that still blows my mind. I'm going to go ahead and clean up a little bit since I just did five resin projects in here. I need to consolidate those supplies a little better and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.